Seven years ago now, we formed the Irish Critical Care Clinical Trials Network. And what we were trying to do at that time was to improve the outcomes of our patients in reducing mortality and reducing organ failure and long-term disability. And this would have obvious beneficial effects for the patients, their families, and society as a whole. There was an obvious gap where we needed to provide a, a hub for the expertise necessary to conduct trials in Ireland and beyond. It is difficult to conduct trials in the intensive care unit, but we have managed to deliver a number of high quality trials in Ireland and beyond that has changed practice locally, globally, and delivered our aspirations of improving outcomes for our critically ill patients. I believe that being able to take part in research while in ICU was of a great advantage to me as I and other patients like me could gain access to treatments that would otherwise not be available. The studies that we take part in determine if these treatments are effective and whether other patients might then benefit from receiving them in the future. The Irish Critical Care Public and Patient Involvement Group was established in early 2020 to provide a patient's perspective of critical care research in Ireland. This group provides a forum to hear the voice of the patient and their families. At meetings, we discuss all areas of research from specific studies to trial processes such as consent and assent. We feel the ICC CTN research is extremely important and we fully support the work that they do. We believe the research drives critical care forward and it's a great, great benefit to all people who may require critical hospital care now or in the future. The ICC CTN's work to date has had a number of significant positive impacts for patients and their families, clinical practice, society and the economy. RemapCap is a novel adaptive platform randomised trial design. It was initially set up to determine the most effective available treatments for community acquired pneumonia. RemapCap by its design is able to adapt and pivot to respond to an emerging pandemic and it did just that in the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. RemapCap has already shown us that some treatments are effective and indeed not effective in treating patients who are either moderately or severely ill with COVID-19. The contribution of the Irish Critical Care Clinical Trials Network to RemapCap uh, has been substantial. It's extremely difficult uh, for a clinical trial um, in, a, in the middle of a pandemic to expand that that occurred and occurred uh, superbly um, in Ireland is purely a consequence of the infrastructure organisation that, that is provided by the CTN. RemapCap has uh, recruited approaching 9,000 patients uh, with COVID and has answered 10 clinical questions in a time critical way for critically ill patients with COVID. And it's testament to the efficiency of the design the novel aspects and the innovative aspects of that design have been strongly contributed to by Irish uh, participation. So my role is to coordinate the clinical trials from start to finish in the unit. So from um, submitting the ethics from when the protocol comes to us to the bedside to when we are uh, delivering the uh, clinical trial at the bedside. What I enjoy about working with the CTN is that you, you know you're going to make a difference. I'm an ICU nurse for 20 years and what we did 20 years ago and what we do now is very different and that's because of research. So knowing that you, what you're going to do, what we're doing at the bedside is going to make a difference for patients and help improve their outcomes. Any research group is actually made up for the strength of its members. And in our case, our members are ICU uh, clinicians, nurses and allied health professionals um, in ICUs working across Ireland, Europe and within, in other collaborating countries. And we work hard to give them the tools they need to answer the questions they think are important to their uh, patients and their patients' families. And we hope to do this in a way that actually lays down infrastructure for the future so that Irish researchers and Irish clinicians have the tools they need to um, answer these questions going forward. The majority of our trials are investigator-initiated studies. So these are studies that doctors and nurses and allied health at the bedside see as important questions that need to be answered. And we will empower them to get the funds and have the expertise at hand to conduct those trials uh, to the highest quality. And this way we aim to broaden 
um, our portfolio of investigator-initiated trials. And we are doing this in out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, sepsis, acute kidney injury, uh, mechanical ventilation, and many, many more. So we hope to improve the standard of care for many conditions when patients end up in the ICU. But in addition, we actually are also going to engage with industry to conduct um, pharma trials as well, because we see industry as an important partner and to give Irish patients and our participating network beyond Border and Ireland access to new treatments as they become available as well.